At Southern New Hampshire University, we're committed to making college more accessible by making it more affordable. That's why we're keeping our tuition the same through the year 2021. I knew SNHU was the place for me when I saw how affordable it was. I ran to my husband with my computer and I said, look, we can do this. Take advantage of some of the lowest online tuition rates in the nation. Find your degree at snhu.edu. Mike's dedicated to his side gig. Sup, bros? Kick it to the phone right now, but ring me back, dog. <laughs> Too bad his phone isn't. With a free second number and voicemail from TextNow, you'll sound like you really mean business. We're able to see value in things that other people would call trash. I think that waste is something that inherently doesn't really exist in the natural world. Everything is circular and that cycle of life, even waste has value. to get the vaccine because a lot of the things I really liked doing was um, canceled and I just really wanted to get those things um, back sooner so I figured I might as well get it. Well I'm really excited because it's been since like probably February since I really got to like talk to anyone outside of my class. There you go. Just a couple of kids excited to get their shots and just be normal kids again. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for switching your screens to NBCLX. It is Thursday, May 13th. I'm Tabitha Lipkin. And I'm Joe Beth DeVera. You've probably heard the news by now. The CDC giving Pfizer the green light to use its COVID-19 vaccine in children 12 to 15 years old. It's just one of nine major stories we're following for you today in one less than 10. A CDC advisory panel voted to start giving out the two-dose Pfizer vaccine. The final vote yesterday was 14 to zero in favor of the recommendation with only one recusal. Yeah, and on Monday, the FDA authorized the shot to be used in 12 to 15 year olds after clinical trial data showed it was 100% effective in preventing illness. Then yesterday, the CDC panel met and agreed with that data. However, some of the committee members were reluctant